You know, scammers hate it when you expose them for what they are. Scammers. For the last week on Twitter, I was corresponding with, let's just say, Lisa. And, you know, I looked at her profile, of course, she followed me on Twitter. I didn't follow her. I didn't go looking for her. She came looking for me. A lot of times when you get people who follow you, and they have their names along with a long number that comes out with their name, chances are that's likely to be a scammer. So this particular scammer was uh, looking for a relationship. Said, you know, um, I think he said something to you, but I mean, I have her blocked now, but I think she was looking for, uh, I don't know if it said, a good, honest man, or um, a God-fearing man. Because that's what most of them say. They're looking for a serious relationships. They're looking for a God-fearing type of man. But I had a feeling that this particular person was a scammer. But I, but I needed a, a week to, to, to try to, you know, Play the puppet, so to speak, you know, try to, uh, you know, string everything out, you know, try to get, uh, you know, to, to basically expose them, is what I was trying to do, I was trying to expose them, and that's exactly what I did. So today, I said to her in a message that if I find out if you're uh, a scammer, then I'm just going to block you immediately. This is what I'm saying to her. And she says, okay. But right before I said that to her, I had said to her in a message, um, where are you from? Because her, uh, her profile says Ohio. And so, you know, it's a question about that. And I said, where in Ohio are you? And she goes, well, I'm in Ghana. If I'm pronouncing that country right, it's over in Africa, I, I believe. Uh, it's where WWE Champion Kobe Kingston's from, naturally. She said she's in Ghana with her lovely mom. Um, so that's when I said, if I find out you're a scammer, I will block you immediately. And her response was, okay. So... My next line, then this is really the kicker of the whole thing. I said, are you trying to get money from me? Because I wanted to try to find out how, how much she was trying to, you know, get out of me. And when I said, are you trying to get money from me? She goes, oh, I will block you now. But while she was typing that message, I went on her page, her Twitter profile, and blocked her. This means she can't send me any more messages. And then I uh, made a comment on Twitter that, you know, with her handle, uh, that she's a scammer. Scammers get angry when you expose their scams, or when you catch on to what they're trying to do. Because they know 
that um you're not going to be their uh, easy target, and that you got them right where uh, where you want them at, instead of the other way around where they got you where they want you. So you got to be careful, people on Twitter, who you interact with, because. You could end up being pain in the long run. And I don't think it's a price that's worth paying. But I feel kinda of good. I expand I expose the scammer for who they really are. And so I hope that whoever follows her saw my post. Well assuming it's a her, saw my post and so, wait a minute, he said she's a scammer, so hopefully a lot more people would report her and that she gets taken down. That's the goal, that's the goal of the whole thing. You think you want to try to weed out these uh, scammers and let's make Twitter become a safe, uh, a safe uh, with that space, a safe place um, for people to interact with each other without having to worry about getting scammed. Uh, but the fact that they say they're from the United States and yet they tell you where they're actually at, that's a big red flag right there. So, you gotta be careful, people. You got to be absolutely careful who you do deal with on Twitter. Or not just Twitter, Facebook, um, emails. You know, I get emails all the time from scammers. They don't bother me. Uh, I find it quite amusing that they're wasting their time on me. I got one today in particular, one of three messages from scammers. But the one, uh, said, let me look it up here, because I'm going to quote the title of the email of what it said. Uh, okay. Look at that. It says right here. You don't be disrespectful. You are stupid. <laughs> That's what it says. And this person is accusing me of sending her pornographic images of myself. Something that I've never done with anybody. I've never taken pictures of myself and sent it to somebody else. My reputation is on the line when I do that kind of thing. And so why would I want to do that? <laughs> Makes no sense. So, but it's what they are, or, you know, scammers. And it's, it's what it is. You know, two can play this game. That's how I look at it. Um, <laughs> it's quite comical. Um, the fact that they accuse you of doing something that you knowingly didn't do should be your first uh, indicator right there that, you know, that scammer, not going to worry about opening the email. I mean, you can get a virus for opening their email. There was a time when you, uh, that could have happened, but not today. It's, um, websites and companies, um, they call on to that. So now the only way you can get a virus is if you click on your pitching link. All right, people, with that, I hope you have a great evening, and we'll see you in the next video.